Look at that view, folks. Woo. That's some speed right there, baby. Well, we've got a pretty incredible day. Look at this beautiful virgin powder I'm in right now. Hi guys, and thank you so much for the new subscribers. We have gone from like 5,500 three weeks ago to 7,200. Yay! We appreciate each one of you that have tuned into the channel and are hoping that you're finding value here. Now, for me, the important thing in life is our Father who art in heaven and then family. You know, family gives us a place to belong. It gives us a place to laugh, to love, to enjoy each other. And I think most everybody does a little better when they're connected to their family. So Mary and I have spent time sewing into family this winter. We went and gave her some time with her family in the Philippines. We were part of connecting two of her sisters who have not seen each other for like 30 years. Mary lives in kind of a remote part of the Philippines, so it took us over 40 hours of travel with the final leg, us getting on a Boeing 777 with more people on it than live in my hometown of Hungry Horse, Montana, half of them coughing, and we eventually ended up back in Austin, Texas after over 40 hours of travel. Being pretty jet-lagged, we turned right around and headed to freezing Montana to have a ski trip with my kids. Personally, I think we all need to spend some time and money keeping our families connected. And sometimes there are spiritual forces arrayed against that. And we felt some of that because after the 40 hours of flying from the Philippines, we were really looking forward to just a uneventful flight from Austin, Texas, to Salt Lake City, and then to Montana. Supposed to take just one evening. Well, instead, Delta said there was some issues, and we had to fly clear to Atlanta, Georgia, and arrive to Montana at 1 a.m. Then we're gathering all the crew to ski the next day, and an 18-wheeler flatbed gets completely wedged into the Bad Rock Canyon. So there's going to be three hours of getting that baby unwedged from there. And my son Josiah ended up walking two or three miles to get there so that I could take him skiing. And I ended up four wheeling in a Nissan Maxima through a nasty road two miles so I could pick him up. After many dangerous trials and snares, we got the gang together and headed out skiing. Got the whole gang out ready to ski again together after quite a few years of not doing it together. My oldest son is Josiah. He works with me at Huckland and he's a fine world acclaimed musician and he's the fastest skier of us. Next is my daughter Esther. She keeps a fine home in Los Angeles. She does ceramics and music. Yay. And my son Abe who was a football star and now he's an artist doing beautiful big wall paintings and he also trains athletes. And my wife, Mary, took ski lessons this trip and was the star pupil. And yours truly, James West Willows, doing his famous 360. Here we are, getting ready to do it. <laughs> you see the guy looking that way? Yeah. Wow. Well, here we go. Woohoo! Got some new snow. There's Miss Esther working her way down the incline.
Abe got his board wax. There's Josiah, the fast fun of the bunch. Woohoo! Here we go. <laughs> Those who got fast in your goggles. <laughs> This is kind of sketchy because I'm just holding my phone and I'm in an area that I kind of need my poles. But I'm going to try to show you one of my favorite spots here. This is called the Goat Hunt. We can kind of zoom around here. Really, just a sort of a natural half pipe. I think it's pretty dang cool. Wee hee! Yeah! Oh, nice. Then you got to look for a place where you can get some momentum. Whoa! Get out! Whoa! Okay, not too bad for not having phones and having a phone in my hand. Yeah! It's just so sweet out of here, isn't it? It's getting backwards. Okay, I think I'm gonna put my phone away. Let's watch this snowboarder. Call this the big mountain, but they renamed it Whitefish Mountain Resort. My son Josiah is the fastest of us. Anyway, here we're enjoying some good camaraderie after skiing with one of my kids' friends named Jesse Willis. Oh, let's go! Some of the shots like that show some drinking, but I don't want to give you the idea that my channel is in any way endorsing drinking. I personally don't drink except like a half a glass of wine or enough beer in my glass just to join in the toast. But I'm not uptight about people that do want to drink, as some do. I don't drink because, number one, I'm trying to stay fit and I don't want a beer gut. Number two, because Wyatt Earp was the greatest sheriff that never got grazed, and I think not drinking gave him an advantage and gives us an advantage. Number three, because it's expensive. And number four, I'm already a friendly, sociable guy, so I don't need it to grease the wheels, and I never felt that good the next day when I would drink quite a bit. Day two, it's looking cold and beautifully sunny. Well, here we are with day two. We got about an inch of snow and it's looking beautifully blue sky, but it's a little chilly, like seven degrees. Well, we've got a pretty incredible day here up on the mountain for our day two. Oh, 
We're not the earliest crew, but we look good upon arrival. Wow, check out the view, huh? See mountains and Glacier Park. Oh my god. Oh wow. Holy oh, snap. It's a big snow mess that Esther notices certain formations on, which I won't mention. <laughs> Look at that view, folks. Look at this beautiful virgin powder I'm in right now. Woo wee! It's like helicopter skiing. Time to warm up. It's me and my daughter in Charges Garge. She likes old Charges Garge.
see if I can hold my phone and not wreck. Whee! Woo! That's some speed right there, baby. In the big ravine. has learned to ski. She's had two lessons and she's a star pupil. Here she is all the way from the sunny Philippines. Here the ski now. Wow, great, that's what you do. You're carving it up, man. You're carving it up. Nice job. <laughs> Good job, babe. Well, here we are on day four, heading up for some more fun. Let's see what Abe Willows does this time. The great running back. See how he is on this board here. There's Abe back in hell rowing for the first time. He's doing good. Woo! Now we got the Josiah and Abe down here in the hell rowing basin. Nice curve there, Abe. Today we're really roughing it down at the Hell Roaring Saloon. Today we've been going down Hell Roaring as a trio and it's been a really a blast. You get into such beautiful powder there. On day four in Hell Roaring, I had a pretty serious wreck and what happened is I was zooming along. I like to take long diagonal runs across the face of the steep mountain going through the virgin powder. And I was doing that and I was going pretty fast and I, and I hit a tree like this. So that my skis were both like this the angle of the mountain is like this. And first of all, I had to find my poles. So I dig around and, and find my poles and everything. So I get them both like this and I'm pushing really hard to try to get out, but it's steep. That's a steep stretch and the gravity is not allowing me to get out. So instead, what I decided to do is put my poles aside and just start crawling down the mountain and I thought my boots might pop out of the bindings but they didn't so I just crawled down the mountain like this and eventually it got really tight up there by the tree but eventually my, my feet would kind of drag out and I was able to rescue myself <laughs> but my pants were completely full of powder snow but I was thankful because we've lost some people on Big Mountain, even some famous people from wrecks like that, except for doing what I did. They somehow get their head into the well of snow and are not able to get out and have died up there. So thank God that I was okay. Wow.
is my wife Mary's first time ever skiing. She's going to try to make the Philippines proud here. This is my daughter Esther up front. Looks like a million bucks in that outfit. Just like Esther did, nice and slow. Atta girl, turn yourself around. And you can just start going down the mountain, and if you get going too fast, you can turn your skis inward. It's easier to just try to zigzag first. So yeah. Yeah, get pointed like Esther is. Keep, keep turning, keep turning. 